Hey guys, how are you? When you join, say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from. If you're watching the replay, hashtag replay yogi music. How are you, my angel? How's everything? How's DJ going? I am super excited. I'm just finishing my walk. And you actually love my nails, I think, Yogi. Look at these ones. They have a smiley face. Um, oh, Mars on! Um, but say hello, you guys. Let me know <clears throat> where you're joining from. And um, maybe let me know what your favorite color is. I'd love to know what your favorite color is. Yes, robots. <laughs> I love that. Um, I'm just doing my night walk. And I do a morning walk that's 2.2 miles. And then the night walk is like... I don't think it's half of it. I think it's maybe like a mile. I don't think it's, yeah. So it's like around that. But anyway, um, I had, I experienced a lot today because it's the new moon. If you guys don't know that. And I'm getting more and more into the solar cycles of the world. But I experienced a lot of emotions today. Like a lot of emotions. Like up and down and roller coaster. And I was happy. Then I was sad. And then I was annoyed. And then I was joyful and then I was happy and then I was like all over the place yeah indigo <laughs> oh that's your favorite color um like I just was all over the place with my emotions today and I watched like like I was like okay let me sit here and let me meditate right like I'm gonna meditate sorry I'm getting to my house um I'm gonna sit here and like let me meditate I'm gonna meditate through this emotional chaotic feelings and then I would be like okay meditating's not working I'm going to journal oops hold on lock I'm gonna journal my way through this um yeah like I'm gonna journal through this and then I'm like okay I'm gonna listen to a podcast through this then I'm like okay that's not working okay, I'm going to try and listen to a podcast. I'm going to try that. It wasn't working. All right. I'm going to try and create through this. I'm going to try and listen to a book through this, like, or, 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 or listen to, or like, I, I just was doing all of the things that you could do so that I could navigate these whoo, big waves of emotion I was experiencing today. And so I wanted to come on because I think sometimes it's easy to look at me, even though today was super exciting. We got 579 ranked in spirituality for the podcast, which is exciting. But even though it's easy to look at my life and yes, I'm highly creative. Yes, I'm a high producer. Yes, I, I care about being a highly productive individual to advance society. That is something that's important to me. And I believe most of the people, if you're here, that I attract, we are the same. We, I'm going to change this filter now that I'm inside. Um, you know, we, we are the same. We feel that way. We, we like that way. We want to be that way. We want to act and live our life that way. But that doesn't mean we don't experience the ups and downs of relationship drama. Like today I had a huge relationship drama with a f- friend of mine, you know, that wasn't bad or good. It just was, you know, then I had two really deep and profound conversations with girlfriends. I listened to two podcasts. I read a chapter of a book. I had my podcast that went live. I recorded an hour audio plus a bonus 30 minute module. Um, I prepared for next month of what this, like what the themes are for all my month to get those emails sent out tomorrow morning. We have a 50% off sale on my website that we posted. Like there's so much that I did. I had a, I cooked two meals. I did two walks. I meditated, like journaled, but it, but what I'm saying is doing all these things, right? Even though we, we go through life and we do these things and we produce and things are occurring. It doesn't, it doesn't take away from the fact, the internal chaos that's happening. And I don't want you to think that just because you see someone on the internet, that even if they're preaching like myself, like even if we're teachers, that this is what we believe, or this is how we navigate 
our life experience, it doesn't mean that we're exempt from feeling them. It doesn't mean that we're exempt from going through the turbulence. It's actually what I talked about in my meow course, which is all about if you're a spiritual leader, if you're a mystic, if you're an intuitive, how to leverage digital marketing and sales to make it fun and easy and exciting. What I was actually sharing there is that the greater we commit to our practices, the greater that we commit to what we want to experience and who we want to be and to our remembrance in this life, the more that we will experience turbulence, but it's our job to become an alchemizer, to alchemize whatever we're experiencing because we become, we like heighten in consciousness. So we become greater in responsibility for what we're meant to be and do and share in this world. And so when things happen to us, it's no longer just happening to us. It's happening through us for us to share with the greater collective. So like an example, this would be my third book, An Uncompromised Life, my abortion. I specifically talk about, I knew that this happened for a greater collective healing. This happened to give women who were told they can't be pregnant another narrative to pregnancy, adoption, another narrative to abortion. Um, hold on, let me see. I lost people I've loved because, I have a mess, because I've been a mess on my emotions. I lost all of my life because I couldn't control my mind. Explain to me a little bit more, hold on, what you mean you couldn't control your mind if you're still on here. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can, uh, I don't know if I can do this, but if you're still on here, what you mean, but I think that the person you love, you could never lose someone because you can't control your mind, right? You could only, you can only lose, you can never lose someone that's meant for you. A period that if someone's meant for you, you can never lose them. They're always going to be here with you. They're always going to be for you. But controlling your mind is more like I, I'm experiencing this in my mind. I'm experiencing these thoughts and I need to communicate it to this person to see how they can support me in processing them. Or what I can do to change the narrative. And I have a really good reel going live tomorrow about that. So I'm so happy you shared that. And for anyone else out there, I want you to know if you're experiencing big emotions, we're creating stories or creating narratives about someone you're dating or our love or whatever that it is. And you're creating stories that are false. Like, I don't want to say false illusion because they're real to you, but it's, it's not actually reality. You're not crazy. You're not wrong for the stories that are happening in your mind. And you're not wrong for the experiences that like your mind is telling you about someone. But there has to be a point when you, you can't just make up stories about a relationship you're in, right? There has to be a point when you begin to communicate, this is what I'm experiencing. And then give that person an opportunity to have a co-creative dialogue with you. And only when you do that, that's going to, when you, that's when you can begin to manage these waves of emotions, the ups and flows of what's happening because you're involving the person who is, who's in your mind, right? And you can't solve your mind problems around somebody else on your own. It's not going to work, especially in relationships. And our relationships are so important because they're our biggest mirrors. Relationships are our quickest accelerators to consciousness, to enlightenment, to fulfillment, because relationships are always mirroring to us what is actually happening internally. So if relationships are feeling lonely, if relationships are feeling like you, you can't lose, it's almost like you lost yourself because you weren't able to communicate what was happening. And if that person couldn't handle a communication channel with you, they weren't for you. So it's a blessing that they got out of your life so that the right person could come in. So anyway, I just wanted to come on because I wanted to share. I experienced a lot of big emotions today. I know it's the new moon. Um, and I feel like there was a lot of turbulence in my life and like internal life, not actual external. And I want you to know that just because you have turbulence internal doesn't mean that your business can't be successful. It doesn't mean you have to have a bad day and you can't produce. It doesn't mean that you can't make sales. You don't have to be in this high vibration all the time to like make a connection, to make sales, to make a business work. What's important is that you're connected to why you're here. You're connected to your vision. You're connected to your purpose. And then you can experience 50 million things that happen, but you're so solid in your connection to why you're here that when other things happen, it doesn't sway that connection. Like your pillar, your foundation is so tight. Like I'm here for me. Like I'm here to activate love. I'm here to um, empower people to create the most loving, amazing lives in their whole experience, right? I'm here to help people with connection and relationships and intimacy. Like that's important to me. And that starts with your career. It starts with your business. It starts with anything like relationships. I'm probably going more towards relationships, but I, you know, initially started a lot with social media, branding, connecting to your mission. And now I just love relationships and talking about them all day long. So that's the core. So even when I have turbulence like this, it doesn't take away, even if it's turbulence in my own relationship, it doesn't take away our relationships. 
it doesn't take away from the fact that I can still show up and do what I need to do. It doesn't take away from the fact that I'm still congruent with my mission or who I am. It just means that I'm a teacher experiencing life, experiencing what I'm teaching. I'm giving, and I'm being given the opportunity to practice what I preach, to practice and implement what I'm sharing, to practice and implement the teachings of consciousness, the teachings of enlightenment, the teachings of Tantra or connection or whatever that it is. So anyway, that was my message that I wanted to come on and share. Um, if you like this, I highly recommend one, my shift to the limitless audio, which is, um, on my website, which goes into how to shift into a limitless state. And that really supports you and navigating these big emotions. And two, if you really like this, the other thing is my overcome heartbreak and how to forever attract love workshop. That's a really powerful workshop that will really support you. Um, and I highly suggest, um, Getting into that, everything is 50% off tonight until midnight. So it's 9, 10, 11, 12, three more hours. The whole website is 50% off. My books, my products, my everything. Just type in love at checkout. So if this served you, please share. I honor you. I see you. I witness you. You've got this.